hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name's Haley. i'm so happy that you're here because today i'm going to share with you guys the five shoes that you need or the only five shoes that you need in your life or in your wardrobe um and the five shoes that i i'm just obsessed with and probably can't live without so i didn't grow up with a lot of shoes I didn't start investing into shoes until this year and I'm gonna share with you guys why I think it's really important um, to invest in shoes but when I was growing up like I had probably two or three pairs of shoes my parents believed more in quality over quantity and I didn't grow up with a lot of money so they would probably buy me like one pair of shoes um, a year and they would be like good quality shoes so they would last me a long time until I grew out of them and then once my feet stopped growing I just had the same shoes like I just had the basics I was very careful I'm always very very careful with everything that I have I try and take very very good care of everything and that's probably because I grew up with minimal things I was never without but I just really valued things and my parents still instilled the you know idea of quality though and especially with shoes I always feel like it's better to invest because you have to have good like support on your feet otherwise it's gonna it's gonna wreck you and that's something that my mom really really nailed into me so I've always had like a few good pairs of shoes but when I started taking fashion more seriously and I mean I've always loved fashion I've always been into fashion I've always dressed been really passionate about dressing cute and looking cute but one thing that I never really put a lot of thought into was the shoes it was just kind of an afterthought I had a few pairs I would just chuck on and some of them I would get like dupes at Kmart and then they would fall apart or they would hurt my feet and I wouldn't wear them and so I just like didn't really focus too much on the shoes and I always felt like my outfits were missing something and so the past year I realized that I think it was the shoes that was making me feel like my outfits weren't 100% the way that I wanted them and so I started investing I started doing some research and investing into the shoes that I felt like would really like elevate my outfits but also are worth investing into um, like good quality etc so that's what I want to share with you today if you're interested in elevating your outfits or you're just looking for like shoes that will last you a long time are high quality but very I don't want to say on trend because although a lot of these shoes are trendy I'm going to talk about ways that I've tried to make them a little bit more timeless and the options that I chose instead of the like real trendy versions um, and I think these this collection of shoes although the specific shoe might go out of a trend down the line the style is gonna probably stay in trend because I think these are the five shoes that you just can't live without like they're just the perfect shoes for any occasion so I'm really excited to share them with you let's get into it so the first pair of shoes that I invested in were these little black booties from Aloha's I felt like I was missing like a really nice classy pair of boots that had a small heel but also weren't like dressed up enough but comfortable enough to wear around and not too dressed up I also didn't want anything with like gold or silver buckles really I just wanted it to be all black so that you know if things go out of trend like a pair of black boots won't um although these are more on trend I would say with the square toe they've also are very very timeless um because these kind of shoes have been around for forever um, they're really good quality they are a bit pricier but for the boot I think they're completely worth it I got a size 38 and I really wish I got a 37 because they're a little bit too big but I put insoles in them which have made them comfier as well and I just think they're the perfect black boot and if you don't have a black boot in your wardrobe I definitely would recommend investing in them because even if you don't wear them all the time they're the kind of shoe that you'll just pull out when you like need them and they go with everything everything so highly recommend investing in a neutral black 
booty. <laughs> the second pair of shoes that I invested in this year was these Birkenstock Bostons. They're pretty filthy because I wear them all the time. So this is what I'm talking about when I talk about trends. Yes, I would say the Birkenstock Bostons are extremely trendy. There's no doubt about that, but when I went to buy them, the taupe version was like what was trending and even though I really wanted a pair, I couldn't find one in my size but I also was thinking about when you see something like that, when it's really highly trendy, that particular colorway makes it feel even more trendy. So if you get something that is slightly different, like a darker version, they do feel a lot more timeless because you won't get as sick of them because you won't see them all the time. So because the taupe version was so trendy and was everywhere, I feel like people got sick of them a lot quicker. Whereas with these, they're a little bit more of a unique colorway they're leather so they'll last a lot longer just not that the suede won't last a lot longer but it just looks more you know worn whereas these i know will just i wear them all the time i wear them to work and they still look in great condition they just wear really well so this pair of shoes or a slide kind of version of shoes is essential. I know this is for my particular style, it goes really well, not everyone will be into these, but I definitely think some kind of slide sandal in your shoe collection is essential because this is what I wear winter, summer, spring, autumn. Uh, obviously I live in Australia so I can wear these all year round, but I do think that this is a perfect style of shoe for your wardrobe and if you don't have some kind of slidey sandal like this that is good quality then you definitely should invest in them because you'll just I find that I just slip these on all the time and I have gotten the most wear out of these shoes out of every pair of shoes in my entire collection. <laughs> the third pair of shoes that I invested in this year and one that I think is essential in my wardrobe are the sneaker dash style shoes. These are the New Balances 2002R. Uh, they're perfect. They're everything I've ever wanted. I wear them all the time. I wear them to the gym. I wear them with my cute little dresses. I wear them to work. I wear them on walks. I wear them all the time. They're so versatile. Because they're gray, they're just a really great colorway. <clears throat> I keep them in really good condition. I got these secondhand, so they were a little bit cheaper and because they're sold out in my size everywhere, it's the only place I could get them, but they came pretty much brand new. So you don't always have to buy things brand new. You can buy them secondhand. I really recommend it. Um, but yeah, these shoes are kind of like, if these aren't exactly your style, maybe they're too trendy for you. Maybe you've seen them too much. A chunkier sneaker is a definite must in the wardrobe, especially if you like to exercise, especially if you like to just have more of an active lifestyle maybe you walk to work or something then this is su these are super cute you can wear them with any outfit and yeah I love them <laughs> okay so the fourth pair of shoes that I invested in this year and that I think are essential are a pair of sneakers white sneakers maybe or just like like low flat I don't know what you even call them um, but I've seen several different styles of these. These are the Adidas Samba Roses. So like I said again, Adidas Samba is super, super trendy. And I feel like there's something that you could, could get sick of quickly. But I decided to opt for a slightly different version of the very trendy shoe. And they're, uh, don't, I don't see them as much, but they still give the exact same vibe. So I feel like they're worth more of the investment and they will be a bit more timeless, last a bit longer that I've seen um, so many different styles of like this kind of shoe. I think Reebok does a really really cute version as well but I think any kind of like flat white sneaker like this is perfect. Again I wear this with you know dresses, I wear this so many with so many different outfits like an even business casual outfit it kind of dresses it down um so yeah i absolutely love them and i think a sneaker is super essential so definitely recommend investing in one if you don't have okay and the last and newest addition to my shoe collection the fifth pair of shoes are loafers i got these ones from joe mercer my boyfriend got them for me for christmas actually i read did a lot of research and i was 
between these ones and the Tony Bianco ones, but from the reviews, I read that these ones were more comfortable. I actually like the look of them a bit more. I like the Lux sole because I plan to wear these in the winter, um, and I just feel like they're very supportive, really comfortable, they'll grip really well. I got them in my size, but they are a bit big because I've got a very narrow foot, which is good though because I want to wear really thick socks or even like tights and then socks. So these are really essential in your wardrobe. If you're not into the loafer, some kind of nice black dressy shoe. For me, I don't like heels. I don't wear heels. So this is kind of what I would wear. But if you are more of a heel person, this is where I would swap in for like a black pair of heels or some kind of heels. This is a shoe that will go with everything and that's the idea of the fifth pair of shoe for me. It's a dressier shoe that you can wear anytime, super, super comfortable. But it's, yeah, more of like a dressy shoe and this is what I will wear on date nights or really, I don't know, just more fancy occasions. So yeah.